In the last episode, we learned that most corals host algae in their tissue. The algae supply the corals with over 90% of the energy of which the corals need to survive. They live together, benefiting from and helping one another. However, this relationship is being threatened. A combination of climate change, pollution, and other environmental disturbances can stress corals, leading them to expel the tiny algae. This process is called coral bleaching. Corals turn white, creating a deadly yet fascinating scenario. Bleached corals are weak, but not yet dead. The tiny algae can recolonize bleached corals if conditions improve quickly enough. However, if stresses remain high for a few weeks or so, the corals will starve and eventually die. In the last 30 years, we have lost around 50% of the world's coral reefs to coral bleaching. The remaining coral could be gone over the next few decades. The main contributing factor is the rise in temperature. The Earth's climate naturally changes over the course of thousands of years, which allows animals and plants the needed time to adapt and survive. But now, these changes are speeding up due to the amount of carbon dioxide and other pollutants that human activity produces. Thus, plants and animals, including corals, are not given the chance to adapt, causing massive mortality events and oftentimes even leading to extinctions. Planet Earth is quickly losing its biodiversity. We must act quickly to restore the precious resource that nature provides to support life on Earth. Things that even our own existence depends on. So, why else is protecting coral reefs so important? In episode 4, we will learn 5 reasons why coral reefs need immediate protective actions.